Hello friend today I have to turning old cell phone into pure gold. Scrap gold recovery. I was wondering how to recover as much money as I can from them. Should I sell the phones online on eBay maybe? I have looked at closed listings from eBay it looks like they will bring in minimum $1 use per phone. Or would it be worth it to remove chips from the main board and recover gold if chips PCB gold plated? I chose scrap gold recovery. Not having to wait for time to receive money from sales that require time and uncertainty. I started by separating the parts of the mobile phone. You will see that the keypad area is plated with gold hidden inside. Old mobile phone most will do well and use gold in the production process a lot. You will notice using many chips. Thick gold plating uses 18K gold. Currently. The printed circuit boards, PCB, of waste electrical and electronic equipment, we e, are attracting interest among researchers for environmental concern reasons, and mainly for their content of precious metals such as gold. Thus, this study aims to characterize different types of PCBs from mobile phones in relation to the amount of gold contained, to evaluate alternative leaching agents for the gold. Camera phones are another piece that uses gold in the production process. But sometimes the camera the phone may not use gold. For this camera phone we'll see that there is gold plating on the circuit board, CCD camera and connector. When we look inside we'll see that the electrical circuit connection uses gold wire. Gold wire bonding has been widely used within the electronic sector for more than 50 years, primarily to interconnect integrated circuit SIC or other semiconductor devices and their packages.
I use a hot air gun to remove it chips. Sometimes you may encounter problems with adhesive ink chips. You may use other types of equipment to remove. For gold in mobile phones the core will consist of gold plated PCB board. Gold wire inside ink chips. Gold plated connector pin. CCD camera. For the process, I wrote flow chart as follows. The parts that are ink chips will use sulfuric acid. Gold plated parts, we will use gold stripping. Then bring the two types of gold together, aqua regia solution. We will get 24k gold. Put sulfuric acid in the beaker ink chips take the temperature 80 to 90 Celsius. Whether you are handling cleaning products with chemicals at home or working with chemicals in a school chemistry lab, being aware of chemical safety tips helps to keep you safe from possible danger. Wear the protective clothing recommended by the manufacturer. This could include gloves, protective eyewear, a mask, a long-sleeved shirt and long pants. Prudent execution of experiments requires not only sound judgment and an accurate assessment of the risks involved in the laboratory, but also the selection of appropriate work practices to reduce risk and protect the health and safety of trained laboratory personnel as well as the public and the environment. Take precautions to avoid exposure by the principal routes, that is, contact with skin and eyes, inhalation, and ingestion. After compound is dissolved completely, you can pour sulfuric acid and wash and clean the gold wire with clean water. Importantly, you must be aware of the danger of sulfuric acid while pouring out and when cleaning the gold wire. Sulfuric acid is a chemical reaction when it is mixed with water. You may have to separate the fibers of the PCB.
I use nitric acid mixed with water 1 to 1 to get rid of the remaining metal. You will get gold wire mixed with dye chips ready for aqua regia solution. Gold plated parts, we will use gold stripping. Use 400 milliliters of water, sodium cyanide 8 grams, gold stripping 8 grams, mixed together. You can dip the mobile phone circuit board is in a gold stripping chemical. But it may cause the gold in the chemical to stick to the circuit board. We should separate the gold parts to reduce the size of the object to reduce the residue.
put potassium hydroxide into a gold stripping chemical, causing gold to stick to zinc powder. Cleaning zinc powder residual chemicals repeat three to five times. Dissolved zinc powder using nitric acid mixed with water 1 to 2. You will receive gold sediment after dissolving the zinc powder. I use a hot air gun to dry gold sediment. It's easy and works well. Combine gold sediments and gold wire from it chips.
create a aqua regia solution using hydrochloric acid, mixed with nitric acid 3 to 1. Once the procedure's time has passed, check the boards to make sure all the gold has been removed and dissolved into the aqua regia acid. Use a Buckner filter funnel. Most people find that decanting is just as effective as filtering, however. Use sodium metabisulfite to make gold precipitate. Pure gold precipitation produced by the aqua regia chemical refining process. Aqua regia is primarily used to produce chlorouric acid, the electrolyte in the wheel process for refining the highest quality 99.999% gold. You can decant or you can filter. Clean the gold sediment with hot water and to dry then melt it into cubes.
700 grams mobile phone circuit board there are 1.1 grams of gold used for production this information may be different and cannot be used as a standard because the circuit boards diverse but you can refer to them as information i hope my video clips will be useful for everyone please subscribe and comment thank you for watching